Okay, so we're out walking again. I need to wear visors more often so my hair can just be all wadded up. Yeah. So it's four o'clock, we're taking a walk. Yesterday after our walk, we went home and Adri wanted to color with sidewalk chalk. So while she did that, I was doing like all kinds of exercises out front. I, was, I did lunges on the sidewalk. I was doing squat jumps. I was doing uh, step ups like on the ledge. Can I show them how I do sidewalk? Well, hold on a minute because it's facing this way. You'll have to show them when we get back. Come on, push your cart so we walk. You can show them in a little bit. And I was doing, what else did I do? Oh, where you kind of like jump up, put like one foot on a step and you switch. I don't know what it does, but today when I got, honey, come on. We have to keep walking. But today, so after that, like, and then we went home, we had dinner. I didn't cheat on my diet. I didn't snack or anything. And by the time I went to bed, I was like so hungry. So I thought I was going to wake up today, like super hungry. I woke up, I wasn't hungry at all, but oh my God, I'm so sore. <laughs> I didn't do any ab exercises and like my back, like back here is so sore. So whatever I did and like in my butt and in my thighs is killing me today. Like I came and walked normal. So whatever I did, it did something. If I'm sore, then that means I did something good. So if I can do it when we get home, I will. I think they're doing more work out here. They are. This town. What are you doing? Get that rock okay, out. what did you want to show them? How you do? Oh, squat, jump, squat, jump, squat, jump. Yes, good job, babe. Okay, let's keep walking. So, yeah, we were doing those. I don't know. I'm sore today, but I feel good. Yeah. Got up, had my breakfast. Well, actually, when I got up, I wasn't hungry at all, so I just had my breakfast at like 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's four o'clock. We're on a walk. And like she has her bedtime snack around like nine. So I'll just have my dinner then. Well, so when I we get back. Yeah, I don't know. When we get home, she'll be ready for dinner and she wants a frozen pizza. Since I'm not like cooking, because since I said breakfast, my lunch will be like I think cottage cheese and toast. I think that's what I get. Maybe an egg. I don't know. My dinner will be good because it's two hot dogs and broccoli and carrots and half a cup of ice cream. So I'll have that like at nine and I don't go to bed for hours so I won't be like eating right before bed. I can't believe how well my nails have lasted. I did them before Easter. Like it's an HK girl top coat. Doing so good. But yeah, day number two. Whoa, there's a dog. It just came out of nowhere. Look behind us. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just keep pushing your, sh your shopping cart. Adri, it's okay. Just keep pushing your shopping cart. <laughs> You're always afraid of dogs. Go ahead. Just keep walking. Stay. Anyways. Yeah. Day number two of our diet. Day number two of getting some exercise. Like I said yesterday, our walking pace isn't exactly great cardio I just put it Can I, talk I put it in my fitness pal as leisurely walking oh my gosh yes but you need to wait till I'm done talking I hate when you do that what um, do you want to tell them people at home when um when I was playing with my chocolate yesterday I dumped my bubbles on my baby yeah when she was playing with chalk yesterday she dumped her new bubbles all over her baby doll but that so was then you, bad that was bad and you didn't get to play with your baby doll the rest of the night did you no nope. We're not going to do that again, are we? Plus, it wasted your new bubbles. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's keep walking. So, like I was saying, day two of my diet, day two of getting some fresh air and exercise. Babe, what are you doing? Her hair won't stay out of her face either. Anyway, she needs help. What are we doing? I see a daddy coming down the street. That means we get to go back on our walk. Doesn't it? <laughs> We're just sitting outside. Okay, so we went on the walk with Daddy. And he doesn't want to go to the park, so we dropped him off at home. And now we're on a walk again, and I am carrying 
a stroller. Go ahead. Is this guy gonna slow down or what? Adrian, straight. That's somebody's driveway. Ugh. So we're on our walk. I'm carrying the shopping cart. And she's just walking. <laughs> yeah. I love some of these houses in this neighborhood. I love a lot of the houses in our neighborhood. Just not ours. Adri does. She always says she loves our house. Yeah. They're just different. They're all old. I think our house was built in what? 1907 or 1917. It's over. Years old. I think it was 1907. So it has like the solid oak doors and all that crap. There's quite a few houses for sale in this neighborhood though. So pretty. I've shown the some of these houses before just because they're so cool. So it's like a holidays when they decorate. I love it. We need to take our Easter stuff down. You'll probably think I'm weird. Wonder what the heck I'm taping. So she's just hanging out. I came in here once and just sat over here on these benches by the fountains, and it's just so peaceful and relaxing. There's the water. It's better when you don't smell the refinery or hear it. But are these benches? I don't know. I don't know what they are. Whenever I'm out here, it makes me like think about, like I'm going to be 38 this year. We rent our home, which a lot of people rent at older ages, and you don't have to worry about all the homeowner expenses, but I'd like to live like in a nicer house, in a nicer city, be able to go on vacation. I know. And just like vacations, or just going out of town, and just, uh, just need to get our, get our stuff together so we have the the money to do that kind of stuff. Even like just to go out of town to a nice restaurant for the weekends. Um, you know, like get fresh air and just seeing nice houses and I don't know, make you ever just drive past houses and wonder what they're doing in their house. I love when you drive around at night and people have like their windows open with lights on so you can just see what's going on. It's like what is everybody else doing in their life? I think mean, that's why I like watching vlogs to see what like other people do. Just because I'm curious, it might give you ideas. Like, what, is, what do most families do at 8 p.m.? Are they having a snack? Are they getting ready for bed? Are they hanging out, playing, like, family game night? 8 o'clock is usually when I get her in the bathtub. So she has time to have to be in there for, like, an hour. And then she has her snack around 9. And then get at 9.30, we'll brush our teeth and wash our face and get in bed. A lot of people put their kids to bed at like 8, but I don't want her getting up at 5 in the morning. No way. I'm watching, babe. Wow, good jump. Can you jump even like higher? Yeah. Okay, let's go over to the playground. Honey, it's already after 5. She wants her baby to play on the playground. playground of stuff and she wants to play in the dirt. <laughs> I used to make mud pies so I totally understand but we can play in the dirt at home. Oh and there's people everywhere. This lady's freaking eating food. Sometimes you play in the dirt at home. Yeah. Crazy. Come on, 
on, over to the trail bridge. Adriana, come on. So when I was on my work, or on my work, <laughs> on my walk earlier, um, I told you guys how I worked out yesterday, like when Adrian was playing with sidewalk chalk, and like when I got up today, I was sore. It's like mainly my, uh, my thighs, my butt, and then like right back here. Oh my God! As the day goes on, I'm hurting like worse and worse and worse. I wanted to work out today, but I just can't. Sorry, my hair is kind of crazy. I can't like. It's getting worse. Like walking up and down my stairs is killing me. I'm like I'm trying to stretch. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even stretch. It hurts so bad. I know. I know I'm out of shape, but dang, like I can't even. <laughs> I'm getting ready to just set up in my bed and edit a video, but I can't even. I can't even stretch. Like oh my god, it hurts everywhere. Everything hurts. Everything burns. <laughs> Oh, and I want to start stretching anyway, like every night, stretch my arms, stretch them out, oh my god, I want to stretch my neck, it's like this way I can take my neck like, I don't know, almost down to my shoulder, this way, no, it pulls, it like pulls even this far, so I just need to start I hate getting old. I used to be a cheerleader and a gymnast like my whole life. And now it's like, you should hear my knees when I walk down the steps. Oh my god, they sound like my mom's. They sound like, I don't even know how to describe the sound. Look at my hair. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, I need to start. Stretching. Like the more you stretch, like the farther you'll get down. But dang, I can't believe how sore I am. I only like did stuff for like a half hour. And I also, like I said a while back, I wanted to get on like a nighttime routine, like a bedtime routine. So like, oh my god, oh my god, it hurts. It hurts so bad. So over here, like. In my little night bedside table, I have like different lotions and stuff. So I have like one of these to do like my, um, actually, can I put this? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have one of these to get like, I just put crap on my face too. To get like, to rub it on your heels. Okay, this is messing me up. Oh, it's gonna mess me up because of that light. Nope, still messing me up. Really? Let's see if this will work. Oh my gosh, it's like my TV. What am I? Oh, QVC. There's shoes on there. It's not good today. Come on, phone. What the hell? It's a problem here. Tap it on me. Okay, no, no, no. Oh my god, why is it sliding? It's like rubber, it shouldn't be sliding. Just prop it up. Like an in between 
Anyway, I have this little thing that you like rub on your heels and like your toes to get like the dry skin off. And then I have all of these uh, like 24 hour ultra shea body creams from Bath and Body Works. I have like a couple different scents down here like that I only use like on my feet because they're super, super thick. Some of them are like, I thought they said triple moisture. I don't know, maybe they changed them. And then I have like face wipes. So if I'm too lazy to take my makeup off, which I haven't really worn makeup. So I can just do that when I'm in bed. And I'm currently using the Josie Marin. This is the vanilla pear. This one smells the best of all of them to me. It's getting kind of low. I love this for like my legs and my arms. So I use the special lotion on my feet. And I put like the little either regular socks for them because I don't like these little booty things. I put those on my feet. I use this lotion like on my legs, my legs, my butt, my stomach, my arms, like wherever, like on my body. I have making a mess. This head massager, scalp massager. Oh my god, it feels so good. It helps stimulate the all the nerves and everything and the oil glands in your hair, which helps stimulate growth. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And I also have like this other body lotion from TJ Maxx in this philosophy, barely glazed. I got the shower gel in this one too. Have I even opened this? No. Good, because I have a couple others already open. I have this, the Righteous Butter. Everybody says this stuff's so great. I haven't even tried it yet, though. So, I don't know. I've had it for over a month now, and I haven't tried it out. And then I have this little Josie Marin. Vanilla pear. I should put this in my purse. The stuff. Oh my god. It smells better than the, than the original scent or whatever. Then I also have like a Sally Hansen hard as nails if I want to put a clear coat on my nails before bed. I have, what the heck? I have two of them. Vanilla apricot. That's the original scent I think is a vanilla apricot. I don't really. It, to me, it smells like ladybugs. Like when you vacuum and there's ladybugs and it makes your vacuum smell like that. That's what that reminds me of. But I have my whitening lightning teeth pen. I have this. My hair is everywhere. Burt's Bees cuticle. Lemon butter cuticle cream. It's dusty. And I also have a cuticle oil. I also have this. Rose salve lip balm. All this stuff like right before bed. When I'm laying in bed. If you want your things to work while you're sleeping. Yeah. Put on your lip salve. Put your foot cream on. Put your little booties on. Put your lotion on your body. Put your cuticle cream on. Oh, I have this one too. HK Girl cuticle balm. Or here's like a C.O. Bigelow, my favorite night balm is what it's called. And once you get all that done, put your little teeth bleach on and then put on like your hand lotion or whatever and then little gloves. So while you're sleeping, there's so much stuff just going on everywhere. It smells so good. So yeah, I need to get back in routine. I did it for a few nights. And then I got off of it. And you can tell, like, I can tell a difference after missing just one night. Oh my god, I rambled on for eight, over eight minutes. Okay, that's the end of this. I, I'll talk to you later. And as you can tell, my mouth is starting to hurt again. Well, maybe you can't tell, but yeah, it's starting to hurt. So I just took two antibiotics today. Tomorrow when Adri's at school, I think I'm going to try and find a dentist. Because I keep putting it off. Good night, guys. That's the end of this vlog. <laughs>